Pluto is a captivating and cryptic world that lies past Neptune, inside the Kuiper Belt. In spite of the fact that it was once considered the 10th planet in our solar system, in 2006 it was renamed as a dwarf planet. From the very start, Pluto appeared to be awkward. Its orbit meets that of other planets, which is unique for a planet. However, this has not reduced interest in this striking heavenly body as we explore past Earth looking for life. Pluto arises as a fascinating and potentially promising subject, generally not considered an area helpful for life. Late discoveries on its surface and beneath its ice shell have surpassed our assumptions. Staggering pictures captured by NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015, along with other observations, are challenging our previous view of Pluto, revealing it to be much more than just a diminutive planet. These revelations have astounded researchers since they don't fit with what was previously perceived. As we dig further into Pluto's secret secrets, we are confronted with questions about the size of this forgotten world in comparison with Earth. Is Pluto as small as one to the power of three, four, five, or six relative to Earth? This questioning invites us to think about the true essence and size of Pluto in the universe. The hypothesis of the presence of a fluid sea beneath Pluto's frozen surface has gained support due to the presence of extensional fractures and the absence of significant cavities in certain regions, suggesting later land activity than anticipated. This idea isn't new. It has been discussed since 2006 in scientific publications, hypothesizing about the possible presence of subsurface seas on several celestial bodies, including Pluto. However, the arrival of NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015 provided new details and stunning images that further fueled these hypotheses. When the spacecraft reached Pluto, it offered the first detailed view for researchers of one of the solar system's most mysterious objects, revealing a surface marked by a network of cracks, ice volcanoes, and a massive heart-shaped basin. These discoveries have led some researchers to believe that even more astonishing phenomena might be hidden beneath the surface. For instance, analysis of the images revealed a frozen basin called Plum, located directly opposite Pluto's largest moon, Charon. Although this could potentially be a coincidence, the odds are low. Only 5% of models suggest that when this basin formed, there might have been a subsurface sea involved, influencing its shape. Later, nitrogen gas present in Pluto's atmosphere cooled and settled in the frozen basin, and the accumulation of extra water and ice created a heavy burden that tipped Pluto into its current arrangement. The idea of a sea beneath the surface has been a persistent theory, but images of Pluto's far side have reinforced this hypothesis. Solid evidence has been found, including a feature called chaotic terrain, which consists of rich cracks and scattered plains. This landscape is seen on the opposite side of Pluto from the basin known as Sputnik Planitia. Researchers have noticed similar features on Mars, Mercury, and Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. At these locations, the impact of an asteroid or comet is thought to have generated seismic waves that converged on the opposite side of the body, causing effects similar to the chaotic terrain seen on Pluto. Alden Denton, a graduate student in planetary geology at Purdue University, simulated how an asteroid impact could send shock waves through the dwarf planet. These simulations presented a scientific soundness, suggesting that such an impact would only have been possible if Pluto had a fluid sea beneath its surface. Oliver White, a planetary scientist at the SETI Institute in California, conducted a geological survey of Pluto but did not participate in the analysis of the chaotic terrain. Although the features observed on the far side seem similar to others found in the solar system, the low resolution of the images leaves some uncertainty. Nevertheless, there is a consensus among researchers that Pluto has geological peculiarities, especially a large number of cracks on its far side, which suggest the possibility of a hidden sea and provide clues about its potential origin. Hypotheses about Pluto's sea have long suggested that it was once a frozen sea that melted under the heat provided by radioactive elements in a rocky core. In this scenario, when the ice melted and refroze in the cold basin, wrinkles formed on the surface like the wrinkles that appear on an apple left in the freezer. These folds would have formed due to the compression of ice as it melted and the expansion as it froze, causing cracks on the surface. If this hypothesis is correct, images of Pluto should show older wrinkles and later cracks. However, 
the images from the New Horizons mission showed mostly cracks, suggesting that Pluto's surface seas might have started as a liquid and eventually froze. Observations from New Horizons probe uncovered a giant crack spanning the near side of Pluto, seemingly extending from the North Pole southward. This feature, known as Pluto's crack, does not show a sudden change in the surface but is more likely a mark left by the continued expansion of the frozen sea. The presence of water on Pluto is also suggested by observations of water on the near side of the planet, which appears to be impregnated with organic particles. Although it might seem improbable on a world like Pluto, laboratory tests have shown that solar and cosmic radiation can create complex organic compounds, including bases present in RNA and DNA. These findings reinforce the theory that Pluto could harbor organic molecules and possibly support life. Moreover, the probe's observations revealed a red band at Pluto's equator, possibly made of organic material, relating to a region with greater solar exposure and warmer temperatures. This finding is significant because it indicates the presence of liquid water and organic compounds on Pluto, two key ingredients for life. On the other hand, some UFO trackers have suggested the presence of artificial structures on Pluto, pointing to anomalies in pictures of the dwarf planet, such as a smoky trail seen on the surface. Although NASA attributes this anomaly to natural features, some believe it could be evidence of extraterrestrial life on Pluto. Often described as a planet of scientific anomalies, Pluto continues to captivate astronomers and enthusiasts alike due to its complex nature. One of the most striking aspects of Pluto is its atmosphere, which, despite its distance from the sun, is dynamic and ever-changing. Made primarily of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, Pluto's atmosphere undergoes seasonal changes, expanding and contracting as it orbits the sun. This phenomenon is reminiscent of the seasonal cycles observed on Earth, although they occur over a much longer time span given Pluto's 248-year orbital period. During its closest approach to the sun, Pluto experiences a rise in temperature, causing nitrogen ice to sublime into gas, thickening the atmosphere. As it moves farther away, the cold temperatures cause the atmosphere to freeze back onto the surface, leading to a dramatic decrease in atmospheric pressure. This cyclical behavior provides valuable insights into the processes governing icy bodies and may serve as a model for understanding similar phenomena on distant exoplanets. Another important feature of Pluto is its varied surface topography, which showcases a mosaic of terrains that reflect its geologic history. Observations from New Horizons revealed regions characterized by smooth plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. The region known as Sputnik Planitia is especially intriguing. It features vast nitrogen-rich plains that exhibit polygonal patterns believed to result from convection within a subsurface sea. These patterns suggest ongoing geological cycles, indicating a world that is far from geologically dead. Pluto's mountains, some rising as high as 3,500 meters, are primarily made of water ice, which behaves like rock under the freezing conditions of the dwarf planet. The presence of mountains suggests that Pluto has experienced tectonic activity, possibly driven by internal heat from radioactive decay or the freezing and thawing of subsurface seas. This geological activity contrasts sharply with the prevailing notion of a static, lifeless world and points to Pluto. Being a dynamic body with a complex history, the presence of methane on Pluto's surface is also of great interest. Methane ice can create a variety of colors and features, contributing to Pluto's visual complexity. Researchers believe that interactions between methane and ultraviolet radiation from the sun can lead to the formation of complex organic compounds. This raises intriguing possibilities about the prebiotic chemistry that could occur on such distant worlds, highlighting Pluto's potential as a subject of astrobiological study. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its moons, especially Charon, adds another layer of complexity to its story. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, and they are sometimes referred to as a binary system. The gravitational interaction between the two bodies results in a synchronized rotation meaning Pluto and Charon always show the same face to one another. This unique relationship affects their orbital dynamics and may play a role in the geological processes on both bodies. Recent studies suggest that Charon may also harbor a subsurface sea, further complicating our understanding of the system. 
the gravitational pull from Pluto could generate enough heat within Charon to maintain liquid water beneath its icy surface. Such discoveries would imply that both Pluto and Charon might share a common history of geological activity and possibly even organic chemistry. The scientific community is continually refining its understanding of Pluto, and future missions may reveal even more insights into this distant world. The ongoing analysis of data from New Horizons has sparked discussions about additional missions to the Kuiper Belt, where other similar objects, such as Haumea and Makemake, might provide comparative insights. Objects like these, which share characteristics with Pluto, could yield important information regarding the formation and evolution of the solar system. The implications of understanding Pluto extend beyond its own boundaries. Studying such distant worlds can inform theories about the formation of planetary systems, including our own. By examining the similarities and differences among these celestial bodies, scientists can develop a broader perspective on the processes that govern planetary evolution and development across the universe. Pluto's unique position, including its potential for organic molecules, sparks speculation about its ability to support life. While the extreme conditions on its surface may seem inhospitable, the possibility of subsurface seas offers a glimmer of hope. Such conditions could harbor microbial life, similar to extremophiles found on Earth, which thrive in harsh environments. If life does exist in these hidden seas, it could fundamentally alter our understanding of life beyond Earth. Pluto's image has also evolved over the years. Once seen as the tenth planet and a symbol of hope for finding new worlds, its reclassification as a dwarf planet sparked debates within both the scientific community and the public. This shift has prompted broader discussions about what constitutes a planet and how we categorize celestial bodies in our solar system. Pluto's story serves as a reminder of the evolving nature of scientific understanding and the importance of revisiting and refining our definitions as new discoveries are made. Ultimately, Pluto remains a point of interest within our solar system, challenging assumptions and inviting ongoing exploration. From its complex atmospheric features and geological characteristics to its potential for harboring organic molecules and subsurface seas, Pluto embodies the mysteries that lie beyond our immediate grasp. As researchers continue to study this intriguing world, Every new revelation brings us closer to understanding not just Pluto itself, but also key questions about life and the nature of the universe. The journey of exploration ensures that Pluto will remain a subject of interest for many years to come. Pluto's unique qualities have led to intriguing scientific inquiries and theories, especially regarding its formation and evolution. One of the compelling aspects of Pluto is its potential for cryovolcanism, the eruption of substances like water, ammonia, or methane instead of liquid rock. The presence of vast smooth plains and towering mountains suggests that some geological cycles may involve the release of these materials from beneath the surface. The possibility of cryovolcanoes challenges traditional ideas of volcanic activity and expands our understanding of geological phenomena beyond Earth. In addition, the detection of various surface features raises questions about Pluto's atmospheric history. Researchers have observed that Pluto's surface is dotted with bright and dark areas, indicating different chemical compositions and geological processes. The bright areas are predominantly made of nitrogen ice, while the darker regions contain complex hydrocarbons, which may form through photochemical reactions driven by solar radiation. These findings highlight the intricate interaction between sunlight, surface materials, and atmospheric conditions inviting further investigation of Pluto's atmospheric features. Moreover, the study of Pluto's atmosphere has significant implications for understanding planetary atmospheres across the solar system. The atmospheric pressure on Pluto, although very thin, shows variations that could be linked to seasonal changes. This behavior may resemble atmospheric phenomena observed on larger bodies like Mars and could provide insights into the climates of exoplanets with similar characteristics. The ongoing research surrounding Pluto also emphasizes the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration. By integrating insights from geology, atmospheric science, and astrobiology, scientists are piecing together a more complete picture of this distant world. As technology advances and new missions are planned, the prospect of uncovering even more of Pluto's secrets remains tantalizing.
Each new piece of information has the potential to reshape our understanding of Pluto, as well as the broader context of icy bodies in the solar system and beyond.